The Great Sphinx of Egypt is the largest stone monolith statue on Earth. It took nearly 20 years to fully excavate the Great Sphinx. Since this time, the Sphinx has undergone a lot of restoration, no longer taking on the appearance of being unfinished or, to the keener eyed, severely eroded. Why alter such an important artifact? Why not preserve them in their found state? After all, we have no idea of what the builders initially intended them to look like. Just how old are these statues? Are they even older than the pyramids? I tend to suspect yes. Not only do they show evidence of millennia of rainfall, but also submersion under salt water. But the most intriguing fact about the sphinxes is their hidden openings. Openings I suspect were the reason for the quote, restoration. One of the outcomes of these modern manipulations upon the most important ancient monument on earth was the concealment of hidden passages that dot the sphinx's design. Many initial reports of the Sphinx included details of three or four openings around the Sphinx leading to complex tunnel systems, containing tombs with alien artifacts. Something within these tunnel systems prompted the Egyptian government and even the CIA to step in and restrict access on the grounds of, quote, the nation's security. What is a Sphinx? Why choose this creature to devote such effort into creating? A strange story about the Great Pyramid of Giza appeared in the March 2000 issue of the Egyptian magazine, Rose El Youssef. According to the article in 1988, French Egyptologist Louis Caparat discovered an alien mummy within a secret room found in a crystalline transparent case. It was believed to be a hybrid, which is a mix between an extraterrestrial race and human DNA. A papyrus found near the body tells of this being's encounter with the pharaoh Khufu. According to ancient codes, anonymous source at the Egyptian Antiquities Department, the mummy of what appears to be an alien had inscriptions upon the tomb that showed that this was being a counselor to the pharaoh and was named Osirune, meaning star or sent from heaven. The body was said to have been buried with great respect and care and was accompanied by a number of strange artifacts made of a synthetic material that is not found in any other Egyptian tomb. Also, the source claimed it's unclear what sex it was, but it had unusual reptilian type skin, no external ears and overly large almond shaped eyes. The source claimed that the discovery has caused great controversy among Egyptian officials who want to keep it hidden until a plausible explanation for the strange mummy can be made. Numerous select specialists have visited the site. Regardless of the wild claims, there are indeed tunnels beneath the Sphinx and they have been covered up by authorities for some reason. According to author Peter Tomkin in his book Secrets of the Great Pyramid, some Arabian authors have reported that Al Mamun found a sarcophagus with a stone statue in the shape of a man. They say that within the statue lie a body wearing a breastplate of gold set with precious stones, an invaluable sword on his chest, and a carbuncle ruby on his head the size of an egg, which shone like the light of day. With many of the tunnels beneath the Sphinx being unexplored, but according to geophysical surveys, containing large unknown metal objects, it is only a matter of time before Egypt's secrets are out in the open. Thanks for watching guys, take care.